Hello everybody, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today I am 39 weeks pregnant and I am ready for the hospital. I am going to do my hospital bag uh, video today. So the first and the foremost thing is this car seat. This one is the Maxi Cozy car seat. Um, all sterilized and washed already. This is actually a hands-me-down from my auntie. My grandmom saved it for so long. Um, this line I had to like sterilize and wash it. It's all prepared. I'm gonna keep everything in the car. Um, and along with that, I also have a baby on board, which I will stick to the car like as a holy name. And yeah, so that's the car accessory. This bachi, I will show you guys this big bag that I have. Oh. So this bag is from Kappa because they sent me out a Batsako crib bedding set. It's working out perfect for me because we're going to use this as a carry for Tony's bedding set for the hospital. First, ma, we have a pillow that says Mr. We're actually using this in our bedroom right now. His says Mr. and mine says Mrs. So we're just going to carry one of these. And then I have my snack bag. So yeah, Bitra, I have um, a bunch of raspberry tea. I only have like five pieces of raspberry tea, which should be more than enough because you're not supposed to drink too many a day also. In fact, I'm drinking my raspberry tea right now. So raspberry leaf tea is very useful during labor pain, menstrual cramps, so everything down there. Is, so I'm going to carry some of these with me. I've really been liking cashew, so I just have a packet of cashew. So I just got a bunch of protein bars and I mixed two different flavors, um, the summer fruit and the strawberry and yogurt. I have another cracker with chocolate, the next Lexus cracker with chocolate and yeah that's my snack bag but I also do need to get a sugar free hard candy because during labor I heard that your mouth can get really really dry and I lady my like the dry mouth like the duhadinsa so you need sugar-free hard candy to do with that. I have my file. Um so we were all over the place. We did our ultrasounds in different place, we went to a doctor in different place, and so we don't have like just one hospital file and I don't want to be carrying so many different hospitals, so I got this one file where I have everything put together and first my, i have this little drawing that my brother made for me so cute a pregnant lady all my reports in order here towel and a blanket so first let's take a moment for this maternity bag it is made in nepal uh, by recycled sari and it is from the brand tata k i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but i will have it linked down below and they sent me this maternity bag which is so cute um, and I'm gonna take it to the hospital filled with my stuff. So first I have my toiletry bag. I have my nipple cream So I don't want to be carrying too much stuff So I try to minimize everything and so this was perfect because this is a shampoo and a conditioner bar Also a Nepali brand from April lavender scent. I'm going to carry this little saffron um, Go soap just because this was the tiniest body stuff that I could find in my bathroom and then I have this tiny little toothpaste, a leftover from one of the trips, I guess. Um, I just want to get rid of all these tiny, tiny toiletries. So I'm going to be taking these. I have a scrunchie. And then, oh, so this is very interesting because um, this is act also from April, by the way. Um, actually supposed to be a makeup remover, reusable makeup remover cotton pads but the company sent me one and i also received another pouch in my birthday along with the shampoo bar so i have two packets and i decided that i'm actually going to make this my uh, breast pad reusable cotton and made in nepal so i don't know how it's going to work out but i'm planning on using these so i'm gonna carry these as well my prenatal vitamin i also have some extra supplements which i'm running out of so do it say with the hospital my promise so i'm not too concerned about that and then i have chapstick um my nasal spray and then i have eye drops 
inhaler Elemisco Duita cream one is a night cream and one is a day cream they're pregnancy safe and I got them from Amantran Spa and the last thing I have is Made in Nepal Sabu Lavender Roll-On Perfume. So that is it for my toiletry bag. I do need to add some last minute stuff like face wash and toothbrush. But I have a list of stuff in my phone which I'm going to grab last minute because I'm kind of using them right now. And then I have this maternity set which has been my favorite thing to wear. It is a three-piece set. It's this tank top which you can pull over and matching pants which is huge covers it, co it goes all the way up so it covers the belly really nicely on the camera you cover up top because it can get really hot when you're pregnant and especially during labor so you're going to want to keep opening and closing your top so it works great for that and then i'm gonna take this scarf with me for absolutely no reason just in case you need something I actually um, need to get a belly wrap or a belly belt I'm still deciding between if I want to go for the belt or a muslin wrap I just kind of packed this because just in case like by then um, I still haven't decided or gotten anything I will kind of use this around my tummy um, I got this then I have two pairs of socks I got a super big cool pad a packet of each just to try them out just in case like i am not happy with the hospital pad i to be taking two of these then i have my speaker jbl speaker and i also need to make my playlist because i want soothing music when i'm in labor and then i have this headband because um, I know it's gonna, probably going to be sweaty and I don't want my hair coming in front of me. I will probably tie everything up but I also want this just in case like I need to put everything back. What else do I have in here? I guess that's it. That's all that I have in my maternity bag. And now let's go to the fun part. The big bag which has all my baby stuff in it. This was the most exciting thing packing the baby stuff and this is also what took me the longest time oh actually your bag my made yota salmon huh my robe so first of all i have this cute little flamingo blanket i also got an extra blanket so this is super cute i got this in thailand so it's kind of like a doll and you can put your hand inside and like just sleep is it um on the sd zipper there is a blanket. So I have two of this blanket. I don't know if I'm gonna need both of them, but I guess better prepared than not. Another blanket sort of thing, more like a swaddle, which was also one of the first things that I got for my baby. So cute. I don't think I even knew the gender etiquette. And um, yeah, it's kind of just like a blanket. The only downside is that it has legs, and I don't think newborns can fit in this because they're gonna be swaddled all the way. But uh, newborn. I really want to take this to the hospital with me and make use of it. I don't know if I'm like now, but yeah. So it's actually not too much stuff. Half of it is filled with like diapers. I got diapers. The reason they are packed in uh, plastic like this is because um, I got them in a baby shower and uh, they were already open. So yeah. And then I have obviously wet wipes. I guess since we're talking about toiletries, let's do that first. So baby toiletries are in this section right here. I don't know if you're going to be needing nail scissors, but I got it. And I also got a comb because my baby has long hair. The last ultrasound, she had really long hair. And my mom told me that I had really long hair, so going to need these sanitizer but a stock up on them uh, baby massage oil I'm not sure if we we're gonna need this at the hospital but I'm gonna take it diaper rash cream baby cream taking two of these babes this is supposed to be like a little pearl necklace and a white floral one two socks so cute look at these they're so cute these were all the stuff that I got in my first shopping spree for the baby mittens these were gifts and this cute 
little unicorn topi, which is a set to this onesie and this leggings. The first outfit that I'm going to take to the hospital. So I'm taking four onesies in total, including the unicorn. So this one's the first one. The second one is this heart one. And the third and the fourth is the Minnie Mouse one. So cute. So this one is actually going to be more useful in the hospital because you don't want to be waking up your baby too much and this has a side button so it's easier to put it on and since it's a little bit cold these days I have um, this purple soft fleece type which I will be wearing it over the onesie and one of this I think I'm gonna add one more of these just in case. I don't know, I might be overpacking, but. And then I have this cute little hoodie. How cute is this little hoodie? So cute. Two of these swaddles, which is so cute. I love these colors. Last thing that I have is this bag because you're gonna want to try pumping your breast because you want to get that milk out i am taking a breast pump a bottle and i also have a disposable breast pad just in case the ones that i had before doesn't work and then i have this dr brown pacifier which is so cute um so this is apparently called a lovey which is a pacifier holder but also just works as a comforter for your baby and a toy. So that is everything. So I guess I have more or less everything prepared and I'm so glad that this is officially done because with this video in my head, it's officially done that I am ready for the hospital. The only thing I need to do is wash off my baby clothes and repack them and put it in the car. Thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout my pregnancy journey for all your best wishes and for all the positivity and love you've sent. I'll see you guys in the next one.